Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The temperature won't be the only thing that's hot. Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, where the players are on the field and getting set for action. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. What is going on guys, Flair and today we have the second episode of my Arizona State Dynasty in NCAA Football 14. Today we have our first game, which is against an FCS opponent. We are in Sun Devil Stadium. It looks beautiful here. So opening up at home as we're facing a Division 2 team. So hopefully we can cruise along to a victory and you know get the feel of the game get the feel of this team as it's our first game of the season so we start off with the ball to second and nine here taylor kelly jumping back to throw he throws left it's completed as strong for a five yard gain and now on third and four looking to convert throws over the middle it's strong once again catching that pass for 11 yard gain and now we got first and ten Kelly in the shotgun, dropping back to throw once again, throws left, and it is strong for his third catch already in this game. As we move the chains once again, he's got 27 yards early. But now it is going to be third and 17. We're looking to convert once again on third down. Kelly going over the middle. It's going to be Coyle making that catch. Our tight end, that's a big 22-yard gain right there. And that was a really good play. And now third and 10 once again. Kelly dropping back to throw. He's looking, looking. He throws, and it's going to be incomplete as he threw it off balance. If you throw off balance in this game, that ball is not going to go anywhere. But fourth and 10, we decide to go for it as it's not close enough for a field goal, and it's going to be incomplete. So FCS West takes over. Terrible job turning the ball over there. And Burge is getting a huge gain on their first play as he runs to the outside for a 15-yard gain. Our defense didn't look very good right there at a second and five now. Cunningham dropping back to pass. Throws over the middle. He's got his tight end for a big gain. And that's going to be 17 yards. And now first and 10. They're going to hand off to Ray on the triple option. He's got lots of space. And he's going to get all the way down to the five. That's a 22-yard run. That'll set up first and goal, and they hand it off to Bradford up the middle, and he's going to get into the end zone easily. And Arizona State's defense looked terrible on that drive. FCS takes the lead, 7-0, as Kelly going to throw, and it's a Gwen making that catch near the 40-yard line, 12-yard gain on that play, opening up a fresh set of downs. It's now first and 10. Looks like we got play action. Kelly looks left, and he finds Strong by the sideline making the catch, 16 yards right there. And now on first and 10, we go with play action once again. Kelly going to throw right, and it's Coyle making the catch near the 25-yard line. And now it's going to be second and five. Kelly in the shotgun, and he's about to pass once again. Really throwing the ball well early, and we complete that one to Gwenu inside the 10, 12-yard gain. But now it's going to be third and goal looking to get into the end zone right here. Kelly looking, dropping way back, and he throws and it's going to be intercepted as that was a terrible job by me throwing off balance once again and that lineman was getting blocked and somehow he got the interception but we're going to have to try and bounce back from that as we're threatening to score and here Bird just makes a man miss he's running down the sideline that's a huge gain he was just wide open catching that ball out of the backfield and getting upfield so now it is first and ten for Cunningham throwing right and it's Bird just once again and he's going to be pushed out of bounds after an eight yard gain right there so now second and two Cunningham throwing he looks right and it's gonna be picked off by Darby he absolutely jumped that route and no one's gonna be able to catch him and he gets all the way into the end zone for a pick six and that's gonna be how Arizona State gets their first touchdown of the season great way to do it as Darby gets the pick six with one minute to go in the first quarter 7-7 seven, seven tie game Burgess takes the handoff to the left here and he's gonna get a big gain 10 yards there, a few inches short of the first down marker. So right here, Cunningham, he's going to throw over to the left, and it's going to be caught by Jones for a huge gain, and he's going to be tackled at the 30. 32 yards on the gain right there, 
and Cunningham in the shotgun once again and he's gonna hand off to Burgess off to the right and that time he gets blown up for a loss of three as we are into the second quarter now third and 11 looking to make a stop right here as there's no running back here Cunningham throwing right it's gonna be caught by Jones he makes one defender miss but then he's taken down short of the first down marker that'll be fourth and two about a mid-range field goal right here from the right hash and it is up and good by the FCS West kicker and they take the 10 to 7 lead so Foster returning the ensuing kickoff he goes left and he's got lots of space ahead of him our backup running back showing his speed in the return game he's taken down out of bounds 52 yard gain right there first and 10 we're gonna run the ball here and Grice getting a big gain well, not a very big gain but a good gain on first down making it second and three third and three now and Kelly gonna throw left to Igwenu on the screenplay and that's enough for the first down nice six yard gain right there so right here it's first and ten and we get it to Grice on the halfback draw and he's gonna barrel forward fighting for extra yards that's a nice gain of seven right there making it second and three we're gonna hand it off to him once again and he's gonna pick up the first down and more that's gonna end up being a nine yard gain and now on first and ten Kelly gonna throw deep into the end zone it's caught by strong for the touchdown making it 14 to 10 we take the lead on that great pass to strong in the end zone on that flag route beautiful pass by Kelly and now FCS West with the ball Cunningham keeps it on the read option and he's gonna pick up the first down not a fast quarterback by any means but that read option worked out well and now it's third and one Cunningham gonna fake the handoff once again and he's gonna fall forward picking up the first down and now it's gonna be second and ten Cunningham back to throw and he's gonna complete it to Douglas and that's a big gain for them 16 yards first and ten now they pitch it to the left and Burge is gonna be taken down in the backfield this time very nice pursuit there lost the four third and 14 now so they're gonna try and convert they got to throw it deep here but he's gonna have to check down to Douglas as we had great coverage downfield and he's gonna get nowhere near the first down marker it's now a longer field goal from the left hash and the FCS West kicker is still going to be able to make that it's kind of surprised me right there so now we get the ball back still up by one we complete it to Coyle on that first down play moving the chains and now to second and seven and we're gonna throw left and that's gonna be Ozier making the catch his first of this game and now it is gonna be second and 11 with a minute to go in the half Kelly looking he's gonna throw left it's strong making the catch and he gets upfield for a nice gain of 10 making it third and one so we're gonna try and get the first down here Kelly throws right and it's gonna be deflected as Ozier unable to hang on as he's hit as he tries to make the catch so fourth and one we decide to go for it he's gonna throw to strong to the left side and it is gonna be incomplete once again we turn the ball over so FCS West gonna slip Cunningham slipped right there and we're gonna get the big sack of her loss of 10 half a minute to go third and 20 they got a long ways to go to move the chains and we're gonna sack him once again the loss of seven this time so Foster returning this punt gonna cut back to the left looks like he's got lots of space ahead of him but he would be taken down by his ankles it's now second and 10 12 seconds to go we still want to try and get some points before half we go deep down the right side he's got a man it's a Gwenu making the catch unable to stay on his feet though he would have had a touchdown so we're gonna have to settle for the field goal as the half ends as long as we get some points right there I'll take it so 17 13 the score at the half I'm not gonna be showing the halftime show because it'll make the video super long and I'll just be just be showing the stats as we're dominating in passing yards and time of possession each team with one turnover so that'll be it for halftime and I just don't want the video to be too long so that's all I'm gonna do is show the halftime stats and I, I like the idea of that and Cunningham gonna throw left that's Hawthorne wide open for a huge gain down the field pushed out at the 40 as FCS West gets the ball to start the second half and they're gonna throw quickly to Jones right here and he makes a couple guys miss and he's running downfield no one's gonna catch him he gets into the end zone for the touchdown and FCS West takes the lead early in the second half 2017 the score Grice takes the handoff here and he's gonna make a couple guys miss of his own that's a nine yard gain so now second and one he takes the handoff to the right cuts back left and that'll be enough for the first down a six yard gain right there it's now first and ten that opens up the play action Kelly rolling right he's gonna find his man it's Coyle and he stays in bounds the big tight end with a big play right there 37 yards and now it's gonna be second and ten six minutes to go in the third quarter Kelly looking he's gonna throw deep strong goes up and he makes the beautiful grab inside the three yard line setting up first and goal so Kelly's gonna hand off to Grice and he falls into the end zone for a touchdown and Arizona State takes the lead back 
24-20 is the score now. And Cunningham in the shotgun here. He's looking to throw once again. He's got all day, but he's going to end up being hit as he throws. That would be incomplete. They would have to punt the ball back to us. And we have good field position here. And we throw strong all the way down to the 20. 16-yard gain right there. You see him making a nice catch as he is hit. But now it's going to be third and 11. Kelly looking to throw once again. He's rolling to the right. Looks like he has nothing but last second throw to Grice. He makes the catch, and he's going to get into the end zone for a receiving touchdown this time. 21 yards on the play. Now it is 31 to 20. We have a comfortable lead now. Third and eight. Cunningham throwing left, and that is going to be deflected by what dude? <laughs> I like that last name. So they would have to punt it back to us once again. Kelly going to throw to Gwenu on the out route, and that's a pretty nice gain right there, and he falls forward past the 40-yard line. 22 yard gain on that one it's now on first and 10 we're gonna hand it off to Grice out of the shotgun there's a big hole up the middle and he's gonna fall forward picking up 10 yards right there making it second and inches we hand it off to him once again and only two yards there but good enough to move the chain so nice runs there opens up the play action and he's gonna throw over the middle to Coyle very nice pass by Kelly right there and getting rid of it before the pressure was there. It's now first and ten. Another play action pass. Kelly's going to throw right. And it's OZA making the catch. And he's pushed out of bounds inside the 15. Now second and eight. We're going to find a Gwenu on the slant route. And he's taken down at the two. So now it's going to be second and goal. We get the handoff to Foster. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. That's our backup running back getting the two-yard touchdown run. It's now second and nine for FCS West. And Cunningham back to throw. He's going to try and run, and he's going to fumble. And what dude falls on it. And that's going to be the second turnover of the game. We get the ball back at the 10-yard line. First play, play action. Kelly's going to find his man wide open in the end zone. Gwenu for the touchdown, making it 45-20. to And now with 10 seconds to go in the game, it's all but over. We added on another field goal. 48-20 to is going to be your final score as we are in the victory formation. And the clock runs out. So pretty good game. Struggled in the first half, but you know in the second half we did our thing and looked like it looked like it was actually an FCS team out there in Arizona State. Showed you know good stuff out there and player of the game Taylor Kelly 29 to 43, 443 yards and three touchdowns. And that's going to be how we end this video. This is the second episode. Stay tuned for next week's episode. It's going to be episode 3, obviously, as we are going to take on a ranked Big Ten opponent in Wisconsin. So that's going to be tough. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good game. 48-20 to 20, the final here. And you see the team stats as we end this video. So please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Peace.